on fluid mechanics. In this session, we will deal with the numericals on Pascal's law. A hydraulic press has a ram of 30 cm diameter. So the first data given is the diameter of the ram. So let me take this as capital D, 30 cm, that is 0.3 meters. And the plunger diameter, so let me take this as small d, it is 4.5 cm, that is 0 0.045 meter. You should divide by 100 when you are converting centimeter to meter. Find the weight lifted by the hydraulic press when the force applied at the plunger is 500 newton. So the force applied at the plunger is 500 newton as given. I need to find the weight that can be lifted by the hydraulic press. Now when we have to solve this and this is a numerical given, it is nowhere mentioned that this is a case of Pascal's law. So let's draw a small figure. This is the ram end where the diameter is given as 30 cm and here the diameter is given as 4.5 cm so I am drawing it really thin. So let's assume that some weight has to be lifted from here. So this will be some weight w and here we are applying force so this side is f and this side we are going to apply force so i'm showing in this direction this is the plunger end and this is the ram there is some fluid in between Now, if you observe carefully, this force applied is on this section. The cross section is quite small. Yet, this will be capable enough to lift this weight. So, if you see the force applied upon area will be equal to the weight lifted upon area. This shows that the pressure applied on one end is equal to the pressure applied at the other end. Now, this is the same fluid which is at rest and it is being subjected to this force and weight lifted at the other end. So what we are talking about is Pascal's law. Once you are drawing the diagram, when you collect the data, you come to know that you need to use Pascal's law. And also the fluid is not in motion in a hydraulic press. Obviously it doesn't rest state inside the press. So I will start by mentioning by Pascal's law, the pressure at the plunger end will be equal to the pressure applied at the ram end. This pressure will be nothing but F upon area of plunger and this will be weight lifted upon area of the ram. So when I substitute this will be F upon area of plunger is pi by 4 small d square. This will be W upon pi by 4 capital D square. So therefore force is 500. This is pi by 4 into 0 0.045 square is equal to unknown w upon pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square. So when you solve this, you will get the value of w as 22.22 kilonewton. That means there will be a 10 raised to 3 newton value that you will obtain. I have converted into kilonewton form. You can leave it as newton as well. Let's take up another numerical. A hydraulic press has a ram of 20 cm diameter. So the given data is the hydraulic press has a ram of 20 cm diameter. So let's take diameter as 20 cm, 0 0.2 meter. I've taken capital D as a symbol and a plunger of 3 cm diameter. So the small d is 3 cm, 0 0.03 meters. It is used for lifting a weight of 30 kN. So the value of W is given as 30 kN, which is 30 into 10 raised to 3 newton. 
find the force required at the plunger. In this numerical, the case is just reversed. You have to calculate the force at the plunger and the value of weight is given. This is the same diagram that you can draw for this case as well. I am not redrawing the diagram. You can redraw the diagram. So I'll just start by Pascal's law. The pressure at the plunger, pressure at the ram end. So at the plunger end, what we are applying is the force. So it is force upon area of plunger is equal to the weight lifted upon the area of the ram. So this is F upon pi by 4 d square is equal to W upon pi by 4 capital D square. When you substitute, F is unknown, pi by 4 small d 0 0.03 square is equal to W is 13 into 10 raised to 3 newton upon pi by 4 0 0.2 whole square. When you solve this, you will get the value of force as 675.2 newton. If you want, you can also write this as 0 0.675 kN. Just divide by 1000. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the numericals on Pascal's law. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.